The time has finally come. Harry's Blades versus Jeremy's Razors. Which one's gonna win? Woke or America? Let's find out. What is up, Parallel Nation? Welcome back to the Parallel Economies channel. I'm your host, Noah Davis, and today we have got Jeremy's Razors in the house. I have been waiting for a while. It's been weeks uh, since the announcement of Jeremy's Razors by The Daily Wire, and I recently got a notification in my inbox indicating that I had a nice set of Jeremy's razors heading my way. And so I finally received them in the mail and it is my honor to put them to the test up against these woke hipster blades here uh, from a company that doesn't recognize our values. I wanna give you a little backstory in case you don't know why the Daily Wire decided to get into the razor blade business. And I'm gonna tell you what's basically directly on their website, which is IHateHarrys.com. <laughs> Clearly they didn't take this personal. <laughs> um, but uh, here, let me just go ahead and read their little story. Harry's and Daily Wire had a deal. They paid us, we advertised their razors. We did this for years with the clear understanding that Harry's can leave at any time for any reason. But after they left us for saying that boys are boys and girls are girls, it was too much for them. So they betrayed us. At the behest of a two follower, count them two, Twitter account, Harry's publicly condemned our show, attacking not only just me, the CEO and God King, but all of you. They said the views you hear on our programs, whether you agree with them or not, are inexcusable and drop their ads on our network due to misaligned values. You gotta get the quotes on that. They tried to shame you for the unforgivable sin of not adhering to their woke platitudes du jour. Enough. Harry's and their ilk don't want you in their world, but I want you in mine. So stop giving your money to corporations that hate you. Give it to me instead. So that's the story. Daily Wire decided because Harry's uh, not only dropped them, but then proceeded to make a statement indicating that their values uh, or basically the Daily Wire's values and the values that are put out on their shows are not in line with Harry's and basically indicating that people that would listen to that kind of a show have bad values. So that is why the Daily Wire is in this business now and um, well, it finally arrived. As soon as I heard that they were doing this, I immediately went in and purchased the Founders Kit. Um, I actually opened it up so I could do the little uh, intro, but uh, the, this is all I took out so far. So let me grab the rest. Give me one moment. All right, so this is what showed up on my doorstep today. Uh, I wanna give the Daily Wire a little benefit of the doubt here because um, I believe that uh, FedEx is the one that actually crushed my box a little bit, but it didn't really damage the contents inside. Solid packaging from Daily Wire. Um, nothing was damaged on the inside, but FedEx really did a number on the box. So I'll go ahead and open it up. Like I said, I, I opened it up earlier just so that I could do the intro, but other than that, not a whole lot has changed. You open this up, it says, boom, shut up and shave. Nobody gives a damn about your woke values. Just, can I, can I use your razor? Will it shave my face without chopping me up? That is the premise. Can we get, can we just keep the politics out of our daily products and, and just, just be able to use them? for God's sake. So this is what comes with it. I got the Founders Kit, like I said. This is, it says on the inside, I don't know if you can read that. It says the Founders Kit. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this box. Well done box. The contents were not crushed, so that is nice. It comes with this pretty slick bag. Looks like a bit of an American flag here. I don't know, sort of resembling an American flag. It's not really a perfect approximation, but maybe that's just like a logo or something. Anyway, it looks cool. There's a nice blue bag. It's got, uh, this looks like a front zipper right here. Right. Kind of hard to do this while holding it up for the camera, but it's actually pretty nice. It's got uh, 
Jeremy's razors. I don't know if you can see the JR um, pattern in here, but yeah, it says JR, JR. So that's really slick. I like it. And it's the same inside of here. I don't know if you can see what's in there. But um, yeah, it's pretty much the same throughout. As uh, you already saw, this came with it. <laughs> Covering my face. This came with it. Um, and I'm not sure, I think, I'm not sure, this might be the razor blades. But uh, it also, the founder's kit came with this um, post-shave balm. So let me go ahead and let you check that out. Post-shave balm, which is kind of cool. Uh, Jeremy has a post-shave balm. It says green tea and menthol. So I guess that'll feel good. Here is Jeremy's razors, some kind of a small box that'll open up in a minute. I'm not really sure. Might be replacement cartridges. I don't know. And then this is uh, Jeremy's shave cream. I don't know if it's uh, in focus. Yeah, there you go. Shave cream, green tea and menthol again from Jeremy's razors. So that is that. And then I got a, a little bit of swag is what it looks like in here. Um, <laughs> and these guys. I got a bunch of stickers that I'm definitely putting on something. <laughs> so I hate Harry's.com is the stickers. Um, and then, <laughs> oh wow. Okay, so it's <laughs> it's got a, it looks like a, a bunch of, yeah. It looks like a bunch of different uh, images of Jeremy Boring, uh, the CEO and God King of the Daily Wire with various different uh, hair, uh, facial hairstyles. <laughs> so I don't know what's the purpose of that. Uh, let's see, instructions. Oh, this is the instruction manual. Warm water, apply Jeremy shaving cream, conservatively or liberally, because we don't care how you vote. <laughs> Shut up and shave. Jeremy's razors, because some people are just too hairy and it's spelled h-a-r-r-y i don't know if you care but anyway here it says all of that stuff right there so there you go now we got a uh, coupon it looks like shut up and sh shut up and save oh ah, i see what you did there shut up and save here's 25 dollars to shop our store dailywire.com shop and it gives me a coupon code and uh Jeremy's razors because we know you hate Harry's. And yeah, well that's really cool. Thank you very much, God King. I appreciate that. Um, there's one other thing. Oh, keep out of reach of children. Change razor blade every five to seven shaves. Remember, we can't say we love you, but we don't mean you any specific harm. <laughs> so, <laughs> you guys are ridiculous. All right, so that is all that came in the package here. But uh, yeah. Got a little swag, some products. Let's go ahead and open this up. I don't, well, let's go for the main event here. What is in this box? I don't know. Get rid of that. All right, so we got this neat box here. And uh, oh, the front pops off and ooh, that is slick. I like it. So that is what comes in the box. Let's see if you can uh, actually see that. There you go. Let me back it up a bit. As, it's, as you can tell, it says shut up and shave, which I mean, I love it because like, I, I really don't care about politics. I'm just trying to get the hair off of my face. Can, can we stop already? Um, this is, oh my gosh. Yo. <laughs> This is really nice. Um, I don't know if you can get a good look at that. Yeah, this, I mean, the texture feels really professional. Like this is really solid. This is heavy. This is actually really heavy. And um, it feels very durable. Um, and just let me give you an example uh, real quick. I brought out the Harry's blade. I mean, yeah, the Harry's um, version. And this was actually one that I've had for a while, so it's a little beat up, but it's a lot lighter. This one is actually very heavy. Um, this one feels hollow, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. 
you can just hear it it's kind of wobbly this one is just oh man i really really like it and it's this this texture it's like it's grippy it's sort of rubberish this is kind of slippery i mean it's just like ceramic um you can hear it it, it doesn't uh well it doesn't seem as quality and then you know when you compare it i have this one as well um i actually just a, a little bit of background of my relationship to harry's i actually um joined harry's uh, as like a monthly member uh, or it might have been every two months i would actually purchase um replacement blades from them and over the i actually kind of did a little calculation before i started this video and i have spent at least a thousand dollars uh since 2014 back when i signed up with harry's and um i like i could not went i couldn't believe first off what they said about the daily wire and um basically all of you and me but uh as soon like i said as soon as i heard that there was a viable alternative uh, I, I bought it immediately. This is awesome. I love this. Um, I haven't had a chance to check out their blades yet though, so let's go ahead and try to pop one of these bad boys out. It's in there pretty good. All right, finally got it, man. It's in there tightly. This is like, this is really solid. Um, it's not like fly by night. It doesn't appear as though they just kind of tossed it together. This is like very well put together. Uh, I don't know exactly how this stuff works yet. So let me go ahead and it appears. So it's got like this little, um, it's sort of a flat end right there. And this appears to have a little slot where that would go into. I don't know if you can see that. So hopefully, you can see that little flat end should go into the slot on, on the bottom of this. So we'll see if it works. Um, this should hopefully go right into here. Ooh, nice solid click. And let's try to pull one out. This thing is stuck in there. Oh, yeah, you just kind of pull this little tab. That's nice. There we go. Looks like one, two, three, four, five, six blades on there. Let's see if we can uh, go ahead and show you that there it is so six blades on it it looks like it has a little moisturizer um, thing across the top and that is it so this is jeremy's razors very well put together i love the feel of it love the heft the blade looks really legit and i'm gonna go test it out Normally I wouldn't keep my shirt on while shaving, but I wanted to keep my microphone here just in case I needed to talk. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, got the, got the beard wet. I'm gonna go ahead and try out this uh, Jeremy Shave Cream. Pro tip, comes with a uh, foil seal that you gotta take off. Whoops. I actually left, uh, I left my, I was thinking about trimming it up a bit before using the razors, but uh. I wanted to see how it would do with this much hair on my face. So this um, shave cream isn't as lathery as I'm used to. Maybe I need to get it more wet. All right, I guess that's just how it works. So <laughs> let's give it a shot. I'm gonna do left hand side with uh, Harry's blade and my right hand side. I'm not sure how it's going to turn out on the video. Sometimes it gets flipped around, but my right hand side with the um, Jeremy's uh, razor. So we'll give it a shot. We'll start with the left. I will say that um, I didn't think that the lather was enough, but this is actually cutting through it pretty well with this uh with this shave cream it's it's not as <laughs> it didn't lather up like i expected but it, it's actually working pretty well so there's that all right i did this part of my uh, cheek here 
worked pretty well. I'm gonna test out the, uh, the other side here with the uh, Jeremy's. All right, so, I mean, both sides work pretty well. Um, yeah, both of them. See, this is the thing. I never really had a problem with Harry's blades. And I mean, I always thought they worked sufficiently. Um, I just don't like them getting into uh, woke ideology and uh, saying that they don't support my values. So even if, uh, even if Jeremy's blades didn't work as long, well, didn't work as well, as long as they're in the ballpark, I would have been happy. I would happily switch. So um, let's test test out some other parts. See how well it handles that. All right, there goes one half. Um, looks like a little tiny nick right here, but uh, that feels like a bump. Um, I might already had something there that I nicked. Um, anyway, so that is Jeremy's. Let's try Harry's. All right, so that was the other half with uh, Harry's. Um, I mean, they're both basically the same as far as the ability to cut through this. Um, I, I will say that neither of them was, was neither of them was particularly uh, adept at handling a longer beard. Um, however, I am going to be sharing shaving my head, so we'll see how it does. How both of those blades do with the shorter hair. So let's go ahead and uh, get that going. But um, it's kind of a toss up as to which one actually won. Um, I mean, it, I thought I nicked myself here, but I mean, it's not bleeding. So, you know, it's not like I got blood pouring out of my face. So that's good on both sides. Um, both of them handled the beard eventually. It took a lot of work to get it to where it needed to be, but, um, but that was on both sides. So uh, I'm gonna call that a draw. We'll try on the top, see how they both handle uh, the dome. All right, so I couldn't really see um, what it looks like in the back, but I can see the front. Looks pretty good as I expected. Um, probably gotta get behind the ear a bit here. Um, but like I said, I've never really had a problem with Aries blades uh, as far as the function uh, of them. They 
usually I always cut my hair just fine. It's, you know, getting into my politics. I don't need that. I'm trying to shave my face and my head. I, I don't need the politics. So let's go ahead and test out the um, Jeremy's razor and see how it does. All right, so um, typically when I uh, shave my head, I usually go you know, with the grain and then I, I go back over it and go against the grain. I don't wanna make this take too long, but as you can see, basically both sides are you know, done. It's, uh, it's a bald head, what are you gonna do? <laughs> um, if I had to, as far as um, the speed with which the, um, I was able to shave my head, I'll be honest, I gotta be honest. I think the uh, Harry's did it a little bit quicker. Um, I think the end results were the same. Um, one of the things that I need to get used to is um, knowing when to um, when to wash out the blades for each of these. So uh, one thing that I noticed was that um, I had to uh, rinse out the blade a little bit more frequently um, with the Jeremy's razor. I think that's what was kind of slowing me down and um, I was kind of getting a little bit uh, more used to the blade um, toward the end there. Um, but realizing that, yeah, I had to go and actually rinse it out a little bit sooner than I would with the Harry's razor because <clears throat> it was just a little bit clogged up. So that's why it wasn't catching as much and it wasn't, it wasn't cutting it. Um, but as far as the end result, I mean, you know, they both got the job done. Um, minor edge, like I said, minor edge to Harry's, but once again, um, I really don't care. <laughs> uh, as long as I can get my head shaved and not have politics involved in it um, and not be giving money to a company that doesn't support me and in fact pretty much hates me, I'm pretty much going to go with um, a you know comparable product from a company that actually respects me. So. Um, as far as, uh, let's see, I'll go ahead and give a breakdown here. Um, as far as fit and finish, I mean, uh, the Jeremy's razor blades, like hands down, these are just amazing. These are really nice. Um, they feel good. And um, I mean, it's just solid and heavy and I, I just love it. Um, this one, like I said, feels hollow. <laughs> it's very light. Um, it's, like, it's like holding glass. Uh, it feels ceramic to me. Um, as far as the ability for both to get the job done, I would say that they, I mean, they both did the job. I'm both of them shaved my head. Um, as far as the ability to cut through the longer hair, uh, neither of them was particularly stellar. Um, I actually thought about trimming my beard up a little bit before I got started, but I didn't because I just want, I wanted to test it with the longer hair and, um, neither blade particularly excelled in getting through all that mess. Um, I didn't expect them to, but you know, now we know. Um, as far as getting the short hair up top, um, the uh, Harry's was a little bit quicker. Quick was a little bit quicker with that compared to the um, Jeremy's razor. So uh, if I had to, if I had to score it, I would go ahead and say um, from like a design and aesthetic uh, appeal. Jeremy's takes the lead. Um, for the long hair, they they were both pretty much the same. And for the short hair, the um, Harry's takes the lead. So at this point, I'm, I'm at a draw. Um, those were basically the only criteria that I had for judging this. And, um, you know, they, they pretty much battled out to a draw. And uh, so I guess we'd have to come up with one other criteria on which to judge them. And that is that um, Jeremy's doesn't hate me. <laughs> I, I know that Jeremy Boring supports my values, loves America, and uh, isn't woke. So I'm gonna go with this. F you, Harry's. You're never gonna get another dime of my money. God bless America.
See you in the next one.